Would you care to take part in a survey? Yeah, why not? It's on behalf of the Department of Health. Have you had any of these infectious diseases? Well, let's see. Yes. Yes. Yes, and that one. Yes. Yes. Oh, I've still got that one. And that one. In fact, you could put me down for a full house. Right. Well, that's got shut of him. What do you reckon he was? <laughs> Failed acrobat. I had him down as a history teacher. No, he's too intelligent looking for that. Library book overdue. Only three weeks. But it doesn't matter. Add it out on your ticket. Then you pay. Anyway, what are you doing out of bed so early? I just came to check you were sticking to your diet. Well, I am. In fact, I'm three weeks ahead. <laughs> no, I was just on my way to our man's. I thought I might find you here. You left this on the kitchen table. One litre of locale, unsweetened, decaffeinated soya soup with croutons. Oh, I'll save it for me break. So how'd you get on last night with that bloke from Witness? Ooh. Big, airy, lump he was. Seen him again? No. He's away. Got a summer job in Chester Zoo. Standing <laughs> in for the orangutan. How oh, are He gave you the elbow, did he? We was incompatible. I don't believe in the Yeti, and he was one. They never stick round you for more than ten minutes, do they, Brenda? Oh, we was a dumb then. Aren't they all, but you don't go rubbing the noses, innit? Well, we're not all lucky enough to have a deep, meaningful relationship with a deputy assistant under manager Brackett's claims. Where is he, anyway? Doesn't he usually have a marmite sandwich with you here amongst the pigeons? Sometimes. Look, I've got a bus to catch. I'll see you in the grapes at six. I'll buy you a saucer of milk. Hey, Pam, isn't this your Mr Clough coming now? <laughs> <laughs> Half a bit, please, Harold. Forty six, please. Put the change on the tower. So, did you get to our mum's? Yeah. Our Sandra was there with her new fella. A biker, all black leather and studs everywhere. Everywhere? Well, so Sandra says. <laughs> he acts the odd case, but somehow it doesn't quite come off. Why not? He's about three foot six. Go on. It looks like a handbag with feet. <laughs> Is she coming here tonight? Nah, they're off to North Wales for the weekend. Some sort of Hells Angels rally in Will on Sunday. I think he's the mascot. <laughs> oh, God, look what's just crawled in. Septic Cedric. <laughs> you know, we never decided how old. Or anything about his family. Oh, I don't think he's got one. Just crawled out from under one of those green slimy rocks when the tide goes out. Be serious, how old? 53. Father? Not known. Cedric was a result of an early test tube experiment. Before they realised they ought to wash the test tubes out first. <laughs> You'll go. Hold on. Here's a newie. Hey, it's not our Sandra's new fella, is it? Not unless she's had him stretched. Well, go on. A biker? No. About 30. Who wants... A wee wee. Oh, brilliant. And his mother's a woman. He's five toes on each foot. And he's got hair up All right, all right. Nostrils. I'm thinking... You've lost your nerve. All right, his name's Arnold. And he comes from across the water. 
No need to bring it home, mate. They've got big ones in there. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not too sure about the last bit. You don't go along with this old girl having a crocodile farm in Ellesmere Port? No. <laughs> not Ellesmere Port. Birkenhead, maybe. I'll give you that. Same again. I thought you'd never ask. You got a penny. I say, is that a pound coin on the floor? <laughs> Half a mile and a bit of lemon, please, Harold. Couldn't you take that outside to play? I told you when they put that thing in here, sooner or later some dickhead would come along and start playing it. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Oh, sorry, what was it? Well, Let me get you know. Shouldn't you be out on the street vandalising summit? <laughs> You'll go blind. Right then, I'll uh, I'll see you. Hi. Oh, uh, give me regards to Kenny. What? Oh, hi. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye. You'll go blind. I've told him. I'm all hungry today. <laughs> so? Oh, a biker? Never. From the other side. Oh, he's a ghost. The whittle. <laughs> Did you see in last night's echo? Doctors in America reckon that playing them things makes fellas impotent. Oh, well, it'll stop them breeding. So what do you mean? Breeding, not breeding. <laughs> Well, the trouble is, he didn't say much. You see, I sort of got talking, and you know how it is. Yeah, I do. I noticed he was dozing off. I was assessing him. Who <laughs> were Oh, hang on. High score. You have three plays. <laughs> High score. You have three plays. <laughs> so, did you find out anything? Nothing. But I might on Sunday. What? Are you seeing him? Perhaps. Now score, now push off. <laughs> Game then. Come on, jump in. Don't believe this. See you, mate. Okay. That was terrible. It's like riding in a flaming liquidizer. <laughs> a couple more miles of that, and you'd have had a sidecar slapping with your aid, Brenda. <laughs> uh, do you want a coffee? I want a new bum. I could have died in there, and you'd never have known. It smells as if something already has. Just a minute. What do you keep in there, normal like? Dead gerbils. Hold on a minute. What? 
Where are you from? Are you soft or something? I just got off the bloody sidecar. <laughs> I mean, where'd you come from? The other night you were Scottish. Oh, yeah. Just come down from Glasgow to help my wee sister who's having triplets. No. No. No, no, your cousin. You're helping him with the training. Aerobic. Oh, yeah, I remember now. It was good, though, wasn't it? You're not related to Kenny Dalglish, then? <laughs> well, my auntie knows his milkman. <laughs> No sugar. <laughs> uh, two coffees, please. One without. It's on the table. <laughs> I'll bring them over. Jeez, that was terrible. Them things should be banned. Just get me circulation going again. Do this one for us, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. It's not a flipping piano. Uh, do you want a biscuit? Yeah, all right. Biscuits? Two, please. I'll bring them over. <laughs> Should be there soon. Well, well, don't tell us where, Arnold. I love surprises. Arnold? I'm sorry, it's Malcolm, isn't it? It's just that you look like an Arnold. What's an Arnold look like? Well, you, you daft beggar. Where are you from? Mel's. Ooh, Malcolm from Mel's, eh? What are you, a Mel's angel? I was brought up in Chorley. You mean somebody puked in there, you was? Pardon? Never mind. Yeah, I thought you must be foreign or something, you not being able to speak proper. Do you think they might be going where we're going? I wouldn't think so, now. Well, why not? Well, they don't look the type. Well, how do you? Still waters, eh, Arnold? Malcolm. <laughs> How do you get to know about these things, like? Pardon? You know, where things are likely to happen. Oh, oh, well, we've got a monthly magazine. No, if it's local, I get to know through the club. Jeez, you're very well organised. My pal Leonard's chairman this year. Of the chapter? Chapter? Hey, Mark, I noticed a couple of canvas bags by my feet in the sidecar. Is that like equipment for when we get there? One is, yeah, the other's just spares for the bike. <laughs> oh, I like get you like a spare chain. Spare chain, yeah. Well, you're a deep one. Well, I like to be prepared. <laughs> uh, right, shall we get going again then? Yeah, all right. But I'm not getting back in that goldfish bowl. I'll get on the back and hang on to you. Oh, it's not allowed, not without a helmet. <laughs> well, we can both wear yours. It's big enough. <laughs> right. Yeah? What's up? What? Why have we stopped? This is it. Where are you? Here. Where the bloody hell's here? Burton yeah, Marsh. Well, at least the edge of it. From up there, you can see right down to the D. Marsh. Well, come on, a laugh's a laugh and all that. What do you mean? Oh, God. <laughs> it is a joke, isn't it? I mean, we are going to... It's not a joke, is it? You brought me all the way here to look at flaming spatters. I told you the other night, you asked me what I was doing this weekend, and I said... Well, I thought you were taking the mick. Look, it's my hobby. I enjoy it. I didn't ask you to come. Well, you asked me. No, but... Ken Dodd, I didn't think you meant it. Look, I don't know where you thought we were going, but I've come here to birdwatch. Now, if you're not interested, I'll run you into Neston. You get the bus to Woodside and then the ferry. No, it doesn't matter. I'm fagged out, anyhow. Will you go and watch your birds? 
Oh, come on up, Aziz. <laughs> I should have known. Fancy me of all people thinking an Arnold could be a biker. Fancy me, Grip. Hey, just one thing though. Will you promise you won't tell our Pamela? I mean, if she ever finds out, she'll laugh till her shoes are full. I know your Pamela ever fell over. It's not a fall, you break your neck. She's 13 stone, and 12 of them's her backside. <laughs> you never seen her, anyhow. She was sitting in the corner by the Space Invaders. Well, I honestly didn't notice her. Or her friends. What? Space Invaders. Oh, was that a joke? No, it was great. Sitting by the Space Invaders, I'll tell her that. I didn't think you knew about jokes. The service in that pub was a bit quicker. I'd been away. I would have knocked your drink over and you wouldn't be here now. You didn't. I didn't what? You didn't knock me drink over. What do you mean? Well, I came up behind you and I pushed it against your elbow. You did what? I pushed my drink against your elbow. And what's more, it was only bit of lemon. What's spilled? Not vodka and lime. <laughs> Take your meat right. Well, you got your own back today. What's the point? Why all these lies? I told you. I thought you were a biker. There's a big bust up in Rilla's weekend, and I thought you were going there. When you said bird watching, well, I just thought you were taking yes, the. Yes, so you said. <laughs> We've been watching you. It's our game. We watch people in the pub and then we tell each other about them. Like how old they are, where they come from, what foot they kick with, what the job is, or what it used to be more like. What foot? What religion? Don't you speak English? <laughs> what about you? What do you do? Oh, well, I'm on the day shift of the security. <laughs> no, I don't do nothing. I used to have a yoppy job. But it was boring, just moving boxes. I gave it to Eve after two weeks. So now I just spend my time watching people. Even that gets boring, especially when you've seen them all before. But you are something new. Well, if you don't mind, Brenda, there's something new I'm hoping to see today. <laughs> <laughs> Pal of mine claims you saw a hen harrier here after high tide yesterday. Oh, how incredibly exciting. I bet you were awake all night. <laughs> da, 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 da. Brenda, please, Osh, there's something moving down there in the rushes. It's probably Moses. <laughs> I think it's a sparrow wolf down there near the cops. It'll do it for loitering. Brenda, please be quiet. <sighs> I'm having a ziz. Brenda. I'm asleep. There's a book. A book? Whereabouts? I thought you were looking at birds. In the bag. Would you pass it, please? It's not like train spotting, you know. They haven't all got numbers on the sides. <laughs> oh, here's the 253 High Speed Snow Goose direct from Reykjavik. <laughs> all right, all right, don't whack yourself. <laughs> oh, I've had enough. It's boring. I'm cold. It's starting to rain. I'm going back to that prehistoric sewing machine of yours. <laughs> I'm not for the and blue tack at the test card. <laughs> There. 
Well, you wouldn't be interested anyway. I might be. Just something I made. Let's see. Good, eh? Great. What the bloody hell is it? Look at these. Be quite tarry in holding them up all the time. Oh, you poor sod. <laughs> well, what about your book? You've still got to hold that. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't normally be bending like this. Well, very wise. With all these horny just about. I have a little, a little canvas stool. Have you mentioned it to your doctor? <laughs> so, it was pretty wild, was it? Brilliant. Not the sort of rumble I fancy myself. No, well, you're getting old, aren't you? <laughs> so when are you seeing him again? I'm not. Oh, I another elbow, eh? No way! He's just not my sort. Oh, I thought you liked him a bit rough. Oh, puff and rough. <laughs> Pardon? Nothing. Look, we had a good day and all that. I just wouldn't want to bother again. Let's talk about something else, eh? You fancy him, don't you? Get lost! I can tell. Look, Pamela, there's one thing I can give you the cast iron guarantee about. There's not the remotest chance of me seeing that fella ever, not ever again, right? OK, OK. Oh, look, there he is. What? Just kidding. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Give it a rest, will you? Look, there's a newie over there. Why don't you have a go? No, Tara, I'm on my way. Bit of overtime for Mr Clough, is it? We don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, I wish I could do shorthand. Will you be taken down tonight? Watch it. <laughs> right. Well, don't wait up. Have fun. Brenda. Where did you come from? Uh, just got out of the recycle car. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, um, you left this. Oh, Tom. Very pretty. Why well, do you think so? Want your birthday? I'll buy it a pair. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, third of September. Might have guessed a ruddy Virgo. <laughs> Can I sit down? I don't know if you tried. <laughs> it's easy, really, isn't it? I thought you'd gone home to dry off. Oh, no, well, after I dropped you off, I remembered my mother in Egbert. How many mothers have you got? She was visiting my auntie. I just called to see if she'd like a lift home. In your sidecar? Yeah. But she didn't. No. Well, as mothers go, she sounds very intelligent to me. <laughs> Oh, she's been in it before. It's just that in this weather, it's not You've very You've no need to tell me about it, Malcolm. Frankly, if I never see you or your ruddy sidecar again, it'll be too soon. I mean, going was bad enough and being bounced around to me fillings dropped out. We're on the way back. My God. OK, so it was lashing down. What do you think it was like for me? Well, at least you were dressed for it. I was sitting there with it trickling down my neck and squirting up me bum. <laughs> Two hours on a one-wheel B-Day. <laughs> Right. Well, if that's the way you feel, I'm going. Bye. And I'm sorry I brought your earring back. So am I. Right. Does he melt? 